Hey everyone, it's Andy with PDS Connect. I'm coming to you again with another Tech Tuesday. We're going to be talking about what is fixed wireless internet and go over all those things to help educate you on things that a lot of people don't know uh, about this uh, delivery of internet itself. So we're going to go over those things and hopefully help you understand them a little better. Many people ask, what's the difference? Is one better than the other? If you got fixed wireless, wireline, which is your phone uh, phone lines, and then you got fiber optics, and you have coax cable. What's the difference, Andy? There is no difference other than the medium or material which it's delivered. 25 megabits on fiber optics is the same as 25 megabits on fixed wireless. So saying one's better than the other really doesn't make a whole lot of sense obviously you can get faster speeds on fiber optics but the same speeds is the same speed 25 is 25 50 is 50 100 is 100 we can serve 100 megabits over fixed wireless but obviously your capacities will go down to how many customers you can serve we want to serve as many customers in the area as possible so there really is no difference Frequency is frequency, whether it's traveled over fiber optics or through the air or over copper or over coax cable, uh, 25 megabits, 10 megabits, 150, it's, it's all the same except for the material that they use to deliver it to your home. So first thing is, where does it come from? And Well, we have towers and access sites all around Morgan County. Uh, we have currently about 30 different sites. There are some things that people don't understand, and they call and they say, well, my neighbor can get it, but I can't. Uh, there's several access sites in the area. Um, not every tower that you see is a PDS Connect tower. So what we do is we conduct a site survey. We send our technicians out to your home, uh, and they walk your property, and they find the best signal possible for a reliable 365-day connection. And that covers uh, rain and snow and all those things to make sure that your uh, connection is always reliable and always has a good connection. So we don't ever want to hook anybody up that doesn't have a reliable connection 365 days a year. Uh, next thing is how does it get to me? And Well, it goes through the air a lot like your cell phone does. It just uses different wireless frequencies to get there. So you can see in this uh, image is that you have a couple houses here uh, that are connected and then you see one in the middle doesn't have a check box my neighbor can get it but i can't well the problem is is that that middle house does not have a line of sight to the tower uh, the newer frequencies that give you the highest amount of bandwidth are line of sight only they have to be able to see the access site so if you if the access site in your neighborhood is on uh, possibly a house or the access site is on a tower, some towers are taller than another, uh, the path at which it gets to the tower could be a little different. So you want to make sure that your house has the best line of sight 365 days a year. Now a lot of people will say, well, I can see the tower in the wintertime. Well, unless you just want internet in the wintertime, that's probably not the best thing to have. You have to be able to see a clear line of sight 365 days a year to have a reliable internet connection. So that uh, kind of answers that question of if you can get it or if you can't. So uh, the next part is why is it not unlimited? A lot of people ask that question, and this is the this is the best answer that I can give for you. Wireless has limitations on how much capacity that each access point can actually hold. So if an access point can only hold 100 megabits of traffic, then you're only going to be able to hold so many customers on 100 megabits of traffic. So if you put, say, 10 people on 100 megabits of traffic and they all have 5 megabit uh, connections, then that would be okay. So you'd only have 50 megabits of traffic in your most peak times. But not everybody gets only 5 megabits of traffic. Now our wireless connections go up to 25 megabits per second. So that tells you that it will be limited on the amount of customers that we can hook up on a 100 megabit per second access point. 
So we try to measure how we can do that with the amount of customers that we have in a neighborhood. So we'll install more access points to be able to serve more customers, but we will have limitations on how high that traffic can be. We use our data allotments to upgrade the areas that need it the most. So we have uh, our highest data uh, allotment is 500 gigabytes. And why I say allotment is because it's not a cap. We don't actually cap anybody. We don't actually slow anyone down. We don't turn anybody off when they get 500 gigabytes. The 500 gigabytes just says this is what you get with part of your package. Then after that, it's $10 for every 50 gigabytes. Now, not every package gets 500 gigabytes. Our 10 mega, megabit and 25 megabit package both get the 500 gigabytes. And then we have other data allotments for each one of the packages below that. So hopefully that gives you a better understanding of what fixed wireless is and how it works and how it's delivered to your home or business. Thanks for everybody taking the time today to watch the video. Uh, we have uh, many videos to come. We're going to keep going every Tuesday for Tech Tuesday. Uh, we'll also be on WCBK 102.3 this evening if you'd like to tune in for that. Uh, you, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, add your comment below and we'll answer any questions uh, here on YouTube. And you can also give us a call at 317-831-3000. We're here Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And we'll answer any questions that you need uh, about anything internet related. So I hope you enjoyed the video today and we'll have more to come. Uh, thank you for watching. And I'm Andy and I'm with PDS Connect. You have a great day.